everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley and today I am doing an original tag and it's the Animal Crossing personality tag. I noticed that there was an Animal Crossing book tag a few years ago, but this one's different. This one is based off of the personalities that your Animal Crossing villager can have as of New Leaf. We're unsure if you're going to get more New Horizons, obviously. I've had this idea in mind for quite a few months now and I've been waiting for some information on the game and it's really looking like Nintendo is just gonna release the game. I have no idea when they're ever gonna give us any information on this game and I wanted to get this tag out there because I thought it would be really fun to do leading up to the game, kind of create some excitement. I know a lot of us are really looking forward to Animal Crossing coming out. So without further ado, let's get into the tag. All the questions are gonna be down below for you if you would like to do it. First up, we have Peppy. And this is a character from a book you would feel peppy about moving into your town. So for this one, I have chosen Bast or Bast from Name of the Wind. He is just one of the greatest characters ever. I just love characters like him and I know that if he were to move into my Animal Crossing town, he and I would just have a great time. We'd be laughing, we'd be hanging out, he would just be a great addition to any town in my opinion. By the way, when I do tags I try to not uh, use Harry Potter books because I find that they make the tag like way too easy for me so if you're noticing a lack of Harry Potter the reason is because I'm trying actively not to use it. You can use it if you want to, by all means. It's just like my personal thing. So I just, a little disclaimer there. Next we have Uchi, and that means big sister in Japanese. So this is a book that had a sibling relationship you really enjoyed, and you get bonus points if it is a sister relationship. For this one, I have chosen Vienne and Isabel from The Nightingale. I just love these two. I think the fact that they are so different, but still have such a strong love for each other, throughout the book and especially toward the end of this book. I just thought their relationship was really interesting and I love seeing the way they both grew and changed and were becoming more similar than you might have imagined in the beginning. So I just thought that relationship was handled very well and I loved to see the two sisters together. Next up is Cranky and this is simply a book that made you cranky. For this one, I have to go with the most controversial opinion, and that is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I am so sick of seeing this book everywhere. I didn't personally get the hype. I didn't enjoy this book at all. I thought it was just the same thing I've seen a million times before. You know, girl sees her family gets killed, goes to assassin school to try and get revenge. I've seen it done before. I didn't think it was unique, and I absolutely hated the writing style of this book. I know a lot of people love it. That's great. I'm really glad you can enjoy it. I just personally get very cranky anytime I see this book brought up. And it's very hard to find other people who don't enjoy this book, which also makes me cranky. Next up is the normal personality type. And this is what books can you turn to for comfort? What kinds of books just make you all warm and cozy? You know if you pick up this type of book, you're ultimately gonna have a good time. For this one, I've chosen fantasy books, literally just any fantasy, more leaning toward adult fantasy than YA these days, but really any fantasy book I can pick up and now I'm gonna fly through it and ultimately have a decent time. And if not, I can rant about it and it'll be fun anyway. So fantasy is my comfort reading. Books. Next is Snooty. This is to pick a book that you enjoyed and no one else seems to or an unpopular bookish opinion you have that you stan 100%. You are not ashamed. For this I've chosen the fact that I do not understand the hype behind Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I thought it was average. I didn't think the world was very well developed. I didn't think that the Scythe-ness really made any sense. I didn't understand why this like super AI would leave killing up to the humans because humans can be corrupt and an AI in this world from the first book, I've only read the first book, seemingly can't. So I just thought that was weird. I also didn't understand the overpopulation crisis because I didn't understand why this society was so advanced that they have conquered death but they can't seem to figure out how to inhabit other planets. And there was like no description given 
for any place we've visited. I don't know what this world looks like at all. Neil Schusterman just doesn't describe things. He didn't describe the characters to me. I don't know what they look like. There's just a lot of things missing and I just didn't have a good time. And I stand that opinion 100%. Next is Lazy, and this is to pick a book that took you way too long to finish. I have to go with Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I'm rereading the series, and this book I feel like took me a month and a half to read. I don't know what happened. It just took me so long. I feel like maybe I wasn't so much in the mood to reread. I wanted to read some newer things or things I just hadn't read before. I don't know. This is also like just a hard book for me to get through. It's one of my least favorites in the series. It's not as bad as I remembered from high school, but it's just kind of a rough one for me personally and it took a really long time. Next is Smug and this is a hyped up book that you have zero interest in reading. I have a couple. Illuminae by J. Christoph and Amy Kaufman. Literally don't care. Also Serpent and Dove. Zero interest in that book. I could go on but those are the two that come to my head right now. I just don't. I just don't care. And the final personality type is Jock. What is your bookish MVP? So this could be anything. This could be, you know, something that completes your reading experience. Favorite snack you have, a bookmark you need to have, your favorite reading spot, your favorite thing to listen to, anything like that. Something you need that would be considered your bookish MVP. You cannot read without this thing. Mine is ambient noise slash music, like, you know, those Harry Potter common room ambient noise things or like Lord of the Ring ambient noise, just something like that, I found just makes the reading that much better. I absolutely love it. I can't have it all the time, but when I can, that's my bookish MVP right there. I need that shit, man. Now, that is the official tag all finished, but if you're a true Animal Crossing fan and you want a little bit more, I do have some bonus questions based off some of our favorite little animals from this series. Mainly the like people who are always around your town, like the NPCs, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna go into the bonus questions. The first one is Tom Nook, and that is to pick an auto by author. Mine is absolutely 100%. Brandon Sanderson. Within the past year, Brandon Sanderson has definitely become an author. I will just buy his books uh, before I even read them. I'm someone who typically gets books from my library first to see if I like them and then if I do I'll buy them later, but Brandon Sanderson is different. I will just buy his books to have because I know I'm absolutely going to love them. Next is Isabel and that is what is your most ambitious bookish goal? That's so hard to say of 2020. Now this, you could get creative with this. Maybe you want to finish a certain series that's really long. Wheel of Time comes to mind. Maybe you want to read 100 books in the year. Maybe you have a channel or blog goal that you want to complete. So my most ambitious goal for 2020 is to hit a 500 subscribers on this channel. I just kind of want to grow this channel. I know I'm not doing a very good job at posting regularly and all the stuff you're supposed to do, but that would be a really nice goal if I were to hit 500 subscribers. I'm by no means assuming I will, but that would just be a fun little goal that I have put for myself. So what is your most ambitious? bookish goal for 2020. Then we've got the Able Sisters and this is your favorite recent book cover or a recent cover buy and preferably something within the last year would be the best option for this. Mine is definitely With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. There's just something about this cover that I love. I don't know if it's the fruit, I don't know if it's the fact that she's gorgeous or her headband or the color of the background. I just love this cover so much. I think it's so stinking cute and I just love it. The font is incredible. Love it. I love owning this. I think it's great. Then we have KK Slider. Do you listen to anything while you read? And if you don't, what do you do to set the reading mood? I stated before, I absolutely love listening to ambient noise, music, stuff like that. I love it. And finally, the last bonus question is Brewster. And this is, what is your drink of choice while reading? In your ideal world, Money's not an issue. You can get anything you want. What is that perfect drink you have while you're reading? Mine is pretty simple. I just would love to have the soy chai tea latte. That's my favorite thing to get at any coffee shop. I don't get coffee. I get a chai tea latte with soy, no water. That's my perfect drink. I love a good chai tea latte. It's incredible. So that is the Animal Crossing personality book tag. I would absolutely love to see you do this tag. If you enjoy Animal Crossing, I'd love to see you share this tag on Twitter, 
Instagram, whatever, your blog, whatever you are, and please leave a link to your video or blog post or whatever when you do do this tag. I'm going to tag a few people who I think enjoy Animal Crossing or at least enjoy video games and might know what Animal Crossing is. So if you're not tagged, uh, don't be offended. It's just like, I'm not sure if you know what Animal Crossing is or enjoy it or whatever. But the people I'm going to tag to do this are Books Ava After, The Buggy, and TB Kane. I'm not sure of anyone else who watches my channel knows what Animal Crossing is. So you three, I would love to see you do this tag. Please tweet at me once you do it, if you do it, and yeah, hope you're having a good day or night whenever you are watching this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Is what is your most ambitious? And that is to pick your most ambitious goal. What is your most ambitious bookish? Why is this so hard to say?